to ABC 7 at 6. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Eric Elkin. With the pandemic putting a strain on many local restaurants, one El Paso chef is lucky to be receiving a contract job, but it's a contract he hopes will soon end. ABC 7's Iris Lopez explains. We're supposed to be uh, um, ready to scale up to 100 people if possible. I hope we don't get there. Um, but we're but we're ready to help them along and, and, and get them back into uh, get them back into their homes, get them back to their families. Chef Rulis is the owner of Rulis International Kitchen in West El Paso. Because of the increasing COVID numbers in the city, he decided to put a stop to his indoor dining. If we're seeing big numbers here. Uh, that means we're not doing our job out there. Due to the ongoing surge of coronavirus cases, the El Paso Convention Center recently turned into a makeshift hospital, meaning that the need to feed patients and staff would be required. This materialized fairly quickly, and we started operations today, this morning. SLS, an emergency and response company, reached out to Rulis to offer a contract opportunity to feed patients and staff at the makeshift hospital. Well, we're going to be doing the food for the patients. So we're, we're cooking, um, you know, based on dietary restrictions. And we're also doing like coffee, tea, refreshments for the staff. This contract means that Rulis and his team will remain busy despite the strain the pandemic is having on his business. You know, I enjoy cooking. I enjoy doing all those things. And like I said, the silver lining to me is that we are feeding, since we're feeding mainly patients now, we're helping them in their recovery. And so that is special because I know that food heals and I'll be able to work, you know, on 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 helping their recovery, and, and I do appreciate that. But Chef Rulis is hoping that this new contract ends sooner rather than later. There's a need, and I'm here to fill it for sure, but I also understand that if I'm here a long time, that means people are not doing so well out there because this is the overflow, and if we're getting busy over here, um, it's not the type of busy that I enjoy doing. Iris Lopez, ABC7.